In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has over it. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld His glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. And from His fullness have we all received grace upon grace. Greetings, this is Father Sam Moorhead, Vector of the Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception in downtown Denver, and with it, also pastor of St. Elizabeth of Hungary Church on the Auraria campus. We begin a new week in the middle of this warm month of July. Let's begin our rector's report in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Almighty and Eternal God, Holy and Blessed Trinity, we thank you for the revelation of your love. We thank you for that word of truth, of goodness, of healing and grace, Jesus Christ, who has come into our lives and who transforms us. Let us receive him. Let his life be nurtured in us, and let us become instruments of grace and goodness to other persons. We entrust ourselves, our family members, and friends this week and all things to you, O God, through the prayers of our Lady Mary. And we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, first and foremost, I want to make a special plug for St. Elizabeth of Hungary Church on the Iberia campus, which is the mission of the Cathedral Basilica. We're doing something new that hasn't been done in quite a while at St. Elizabeth's. This summer, we are having daily Masses Monday through Friday. In years past, those ceased when the colleges went on their summer calendar, but because there are still students and others around who would like to participate in those daily Masses, we've got daily confessions at 11.45 a.m. now every Monday through Friday, followed by a daily Mass which is the same as the whole year round, at 12.15 p.m. every day. So enjoy that over at St. Elizabeth of Hungary, in addition to the normal Sunday 9 a.m. Uh, Sunday Mass. Here at the Cathedral Basilica, of course, we have daily Masses at 7 a.m., 12, 10 p.m., and 5.30 p.m. every day, with daily confessions Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. during that hour leading up till noon. In addition to that, of course, we've got confessions at the Cathedral at 3 p.m. every Saturday, and from about 5 to 7 p.m. every Sunday afternoon and early evening. So lots of opportunity for God's grace and the sacraments here. One of the special things I'd like to do is welcome Father Mike Rack back to our cathedral and St. Elizabeth communities. Father Mike has been taking a 30-day silent retreat, something that all of us seminarians of the Archdiocese of Denver have done in the past, those of us who are now priests. That, of course, is done after our first year, our spirituality year, and so for Father Mike, it's been about 20 years since he has done that. So what a grace, what a blessing, an offering for him to be able to do that. He is now wrapping that up and will be back with us by the end of this week. So our prayers are for Father Mike as he finishes a 30-day silent retreat and travels back to the Denver area. So many uh, blessings to him and welcome back to our greater cathedral community. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful week in front of you. Stay cool in the warm weather and know God's grace, blessing, and mercy throughout it all. I'll give you my blessing for now. The Lord be with you, and through the intercession of our Blessed Lady Mary, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful week, everybody.